Well, as life progressed, I got my life together, I got everything together, and one of the things I did when I was younger, I had walked away from church. I was frustrated with church, and I was, you know, I felt like they were holding me back, they kept the reins on me, and they said, well, no, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do that, and I said, well, if I can't do it, I'm leaving. So I left. Well, in my return, I came back with a, actually a different sense. You know, you, when you look back for so long, you see things in a different perspective. And I looked back and I said, wow, well now, they told me I couldn't do this. But yet I see these people doing it. They told me that this is wrong, but yet these people do it and get away with it. And I got really, really frustrated with the church. Not the people so much, but the church itself. And I started having conversations with others, and I found out that other people were just as frustrated. Well, they're just people. <laughs> the truth about Christians is where that book came from. And basically, it's to really help me understand that it's not about what I see. It's not about what the church is doing. It's about what's in my heart, and it's about me having an understanding of God's Word. And that's where this book came from. Those are my three current books. They're just people. Bound by the dead demon. Here for my purpose. Now, for my point today, <laughs> I didn't know who I was going to be speaking to. So I kind of waited. And in waiting, I said, okay, well, I know where I, what I'd like to say. But after looking at this great crowd, I know what we need to talk about. And it's really... All catapulted from all three of my books. As we go through life, you know, which I'm sure all of you can attest to this, as we go through life, we find that there are some key ingredients that can help give us a comfortable life. And I think one of them, probably the most important one, is understanding our finances. Brother Cedric did a great job of helping us to understand that. Me, once again, I was laden with debt. I mean, I was bad. <laughs> I was bad. I, it, and it wasn't so much that I was, well, I was immature. I was irresponsible. And I just liked things. I, I just really liked things. I liked <laughs> nice cars, and I liked jewelry, and I liked clothes. And, you know, so it all kind of came to a head, and unfortunately, it got me in trouble. But I thank God for wisdom and understanding to help me to know, okay, you can, you can, you can still get this together. And I, I thank God for that wisdom. Now, the other thing that's very important for us is our decision making. Good decisions can really help us to do a lot of great things. Bad decisions can really make life miserable. You know, it just, it doesn't take a whole lot when you make a decision to take you in one direction or the other. And once again, the other thing is understanding our place in God. Understanding our purpose. Understanding and knowing that what we're doing in this life only has one purpose, and that's to be pleasing to the Father. And I think that's very important. Now with that, <laughs> 